लेकिन ये मॉनिटर और ये लाइट वापस से देनी पड़ेगी ये खाली किसको देनी पड़ेगी अरे <laughs> नहीं नहीं यार हेलो गाइस दिस अली सलाम की एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वील बी रिव्यूइंग बेन क्यू मॉनिटर आई बिन आस्किंग यू गाइस ऑन ट्विटर ऑन इंस्टाग्राम Guess what is there in this particular box? And many of you had guessed it correctly. Uh, it's a monitor given to me by BenQ for review, and I'll be giving you some pros and cons of this product in detail. So make sure to watch this video till the end. I have given all the timestamps, so go follow them and uh, look at all the features that it has to offer. Okay, I'm just coming up with innovative ways to record myself. But thank you so much, BenQ, for providing this one to me. Uh, I don't know why I love this Screen Bar Plus so much. You might have gotten this question of why am I talking about programmers and coders specifically about this entire monitor? It's just a monitor at the end of the day, right? No. So there are some features that are specifically built for programmers, and I'll show them right away. So if you go over here, so there are a bunch of buttons. Just click any, and then go over to the menu, and over here just go over to learning section, right? So there are a bunch of modes over here that you can select, but I'll be going over to learning, and here you can see coding mode. So just look at this display, and now look at it now, right? You can see the contrast difference between the colors. Just I'll show it to you once more. So this is the care mode, and then this is the coding mode. So you can see the difference right away in the colors and every single thing. Even though uh, you know text that is written, so the white colored text that are written, uh, they are also clearly visible. So that is what this coding mode provides to us. And uh, apart from that, this particular monitor was built. specifically with programmers needs in mind so that's why i was talking about coders and programmers so much apart from that this particular monitor also comes in with built in speakers and microphone yeah this monitor has speakers and microphones in it and this is quite a cool feature that i saw uh, but microphone has a cool feature which is noise cancellation and that is really good so if you just go over to the menu section again uh, go down to the audio part and we are there on the audio and then we have microphone right so over here if you just go over to noise cancellation and turn it uh, on the high scale or medium uh, then you would realize that even in your meetings or anything that you have your voice is very crisp and it's very clear so uh, that is something that i would highly recommend you guys to use Okay, it got switched off. But uh, BenQ monitor also has another port, which is USB C port, and this was very important for me, especially because I have a MacBook, and MacBooks only connect with USB C type, uh, you know, charging devices or even say monitors. So this is what I was talking about. Uh, MacBooks have these two ports only. They don't have HDMI. They don't have anything else. And everything right now is shifting towards USB-C type ports. So it's very important to have your new monitor uh, have this particular port in place. Because uh, if you don't have it, maybe in the future it might not be compatible with a lot of devices. So yeah, for charging my MacBooks, it's really really smooth. I just have to plug in my USB-C. cable which already comes there with the macbooks and i can just plug it over here okay so let's review the product now okay this is to hide it for me so let me just start off with the first feature which is the height adjustments that they provide now this is the amount of which uh, this monitor can move freely uh, it can move over here it can move this way right all the way over there uh it can move all the way go all the way up so say for example if you start uh, coding while standing up you can even stand up over here and then code um <clears throat> i won't be giving you a demonstration for that but over here the best part about it and we can okay 
do this right this is so cool i mean just look at it you can actually then write all of your codes all of your programs right over here and this is the coolest features that i saw with benq you know having this particular uh, monitor is one of the best things a coder can actually look out for so that is one of the things apart from that let's just go back to the defaults and put it down right so all set and ready so i've talked about all the crazy height adjustments and every single thing that you can do with this monitor uh, let's talk about the screen bar because i think uh, we have not done justice to it uh, there are so many cool features with it and uh, i just want to talk about them so this is the led light panel that you can see which emits the light then there is this spring uh, thing which goes right behind your laptop screen or even your monitor over here i had connected it with my monitor uh, you can connect it with anything it has a usb cable so this is the cable that comes with it so you have to connect it with this controller so this has a notch over here which controls the temperature and the lighting of Uh, the whole LED panel, and then there are two other buttons. One of which uh, actually connects with your monitor, and then detects the lighting of your surroundings. So there is this sensor over here. If you can see it, uh, this sensor then detects the light environment that you're sitting in, and according to that, it sets the brightness and the temperature of the light as well. So that is something that is provided by BenQ screen bar. Now this goes over any monitor, not just BenQ's monitor, but also your laptops or anything else. Although this is quite heavy, so I would not recommend it for laptops directly. Uh, if you have maybe a bulky laptop, then yeah, uh, go for it. But now let's actually see it in action. So let me just fix it over here and let's start it. So in order to start it, just press this uh, center button. and over here you can see it started now this is a very yellow light right so if you want to set the temperature of the light just um change this and you'd be able to see that it has actually changed to white light now one thing that you might notice is that i'm directly recording the display uh, with my camera and usually when that happens you get those flickery lights and uh, lines which are you know going all over the place uh, but this does not happen with this particular display there is no flicker whatsoever i'm directly recording right from the start and you can see there is no flicker at all so that is one of the things that i wanted to point out over here apart from that it has low blue light technology now i don't really know about the scientific background of it causing damage to eyes but uh, i'm pretty sure this particular monitor provides low blue light technology so if that is something that concerns you and uh, if that is something that you want in your monitor this particular monitor provides it all now this is one of my favorite things because when i was reading this it actually was quite amazing so let me explain it in detail so uh, what happens is some people are not able to separate similar colors distinctly for example it might be difficult for you to separate say pink from red and uh, this particular display has a feature specifically dedicated for them so if you just go over to this mode uh, this is the menu and go down to mode and then we go down to color weakness right so over here if i just select this you can see the entire display changes all the colors are popping out right in your eyes and uh, the pinks are separated from the reds the blues are separated from the greens and all the colors are really separated so that is something that you can check out as well apart from that if you read a lot especially if you are a coder you might be going over to sites like stack overflow for development purposes samajh rahe ho samajh rahe ho aap samajh rahe ho and uh, that is where you know reading a lot of codes and all of those things helps out a lot just so your eyes don't get strained while you do that uh, this particular display has features specifically 
dedicated for reading purposes also so if you go over to the menu section you can again see uh, all the you know coding reading e paper all of these modes available directly so that the display actually adjusts its lighting its contrast and everything depending on what you're doing currently so that is one cool feature that i found out apart from that you can get this monitor in two variants one is 24 inch display and uh, this is the 24 inch display by the way and uh, you can also get it in 27 inches which is quite huge and the bigger the better what a haram you so go over to amazon right away uh, it, the link would be down in the description box below or in the pin comments and if you're looking to buy a monitor uh, this is the best time because there's a huge discount available right now the next morning mummy ye monitor kaisa laga tumhe acha hai bahut acha kyunki itna bada pehli baar iske upar kaam kar rahi hu aur aankh ko zara bhi strain nahi aa raha yaar bahut acha aur ye light ye light to abhi bhi use kar rahe ho tum तो दूसरी लाइट चालू नहीं करनी पड़ती ना तो डिस्टर्ब होता है तो तो डिस्टर्ब नहीं हो रहा है मेरे को ही डायरेक्ट मिल रही है लाइट लेकिन ये मॉनिटर और ये लाइट वापस से देनी पड़ेगी ये खाली किसको किसको देनी पड़ेगी अरे <laughs> नहीं नहीं यार अरे अच्छा है रखना अपना काम आता है काम कर ये ये सिर्फ अभी वो मेरा छोटा वाला मॉनिटर की आदत चली गई मेरी अभी यही वो छोटा मॉनिटर वहां पे पड़ा है हां तो वो रखना यार यही रख यही रख अच्छा है 